Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank y'all so much for stopping by again today. Southeast Asia has a reputation for chewing men up and spitting them out. But is it true? Is it Southeast Asia or is it us? Have we become the weak link? I just want to talk about a few things I've been noticing over the years. You know, Southeast Asia has always been looked at as this oasis in the desert, you know, for thirsty men, lonely men, desperate men. But are we just delusional? What do we really stand to gain when we come over here? I've narrowed it down to, to one thing, because Southeast Asia is always going to be Southeast Asia. The only difference is the faces of the Western men who come over here in a delusion or an illusion or living a lie, basically trying to relive uh, the years gone by. But what I've noticed is many of us suffer from boredom. That seems to be the problem over here. This is what leads to a lot of the problems that you're seeing. We're self-destructing over here. It has nothing to do with these countries. It has nothing to do with the people. It's us. And boredom is at the root of that. You know, when, you, when you're bored day in and day out, you implode. We start turning in on ourselves. And you see it. Fighting in the streets. Fighting online. All these petty arguments. You know, people you know, going broke. Drinking like they're 30 smoking like they're 30, getting sick. It's the same story over and over. It's just on a loop because we come over here, we don't have anything to do. We're still the same people when we get here. But we watch all these videos and they make it all sexy. But when you really come over here, man, you're responsible for your own happiness. And a lot of times, unless you're a scuba diver or a hiker or just some type of adventurer, Southeast Asia really doesn't have a whole lot to offer you. Many of us, were physically unable to do the things we want to do. We're just too old, really, a lot of us. Our better days have gone, and we're just trying to rekindle some of that, and it usually doesn't work well. It usually backfires. And so we end up going back home and the smart guys, a lot of them, even though, depending on who you talk to, they come over here, they get their dream, and they go back home. See, but the numbers don't lie. There's more men coming over here getting their dream and going back home than ever stay over here for good. They don't even hang around long enough. But yes, boredom. You know, there's a video going around now, two grown-ass men fighting. It's really sad, to be honest with you. I'm not going to talk about it, but it just goes into the video that I was going to make anyway. We've become the, the weak link over here. We come over here, and even if the playing field was even, even if it was level, we tilt it in the other person's favor by overspending, overplaying our hand, you know, trying so hard to impress Somebody that's not impressed, okay? So is it Southeast Asia or is it us? I say it's us, ladies and gentlemen. We're far too easy. We make it far too easy to become victimized. But boredom's at the, at the root of all this. You know, I, I would say if you're a guy who wants to come over here in Southeast Asia, for whatever reason you want to come over here, for some... For some to rekindle some of your glory years, to get married, and some of the other crazy stuff we come over here for, to save money or whatever it is. I would say have a hobby. Have something that you're going to do because when you get over here, it gets real quiet. The people don't have a whole lot in common with you. What's over here doesn't have a lot in common with you. We think that when we get over here, the same thing's going to be here that than, than what we left from home. And that's what many of us are looking for and we're surprised imagine that being surprised that when you come all the way over 8,000 miles from home the place is different 
So I see a lot of us, we're self-destructing. We can no longer blame it on the Philippines, Thailand, and all that. The laws, we try our best to make the best out of a bad situation, really. But it's boredom. It's really loneliness over here that ends up being the culprit. I mean, when you got two grown men fighting, and not just them, but according to one of my friends, he sees it all the time, he says. Koreans, you know, Americans, it doesn't matter, but usually when Americans are involved, man, it goes from zero to a hundred real quick. And a petty argument, a petty disagreement online, somebody ends up getting hurt. It's seriously hurt. You're bored, man. That's all that is. If you were somewhere doing something constructive, you could avoid that all the way around, man. Men, we're too sensitive now. Are we the weak men that are coming over here? Because a lot of people say that. They accuse us of, you know, of leaving because we can't handle it over there. Is there some truth in that? Because when you see what's going on over here, you was like, real men don't perform like that. We don't we don't act like that. The stuff you see happening over here. More joy to the trolls over here, they're men. Grown ass men. It's boredom. But are we the losers that they call us? And if we're not, then stop acting like losers. That's all I'm saying. We're self-destructing over here, man. And it's bad. Drinking too much. Smoking too much. Getting over our heads. You know, trying to be somebody we're not. Trying to relive the past. It just can't. It's not going to happen. Okay, so you get bored, you know, you start looking around, and all you see is other bored people. They're miserable, like you are, misery loves company, and next thing you know, boom, a fight breaks out. Uh, somebody ends up getting shot, somebody ends up getting killed, man. So Southeast Asia has always been Southeast Asia. It's not going to change. The only thing that's changing is the faces of the men running in here and out of here with these delusions, delusions. Trying to live a lie. I say if you're going to come over here, man, have a, man, just a well thought out plan of what you're going to do when you get over here. Because it's boring over here unless you're doing something. Okay, there's only so many beaches, there's only so many bars. There's only so many times you can roll around in the hay. Now you got to find something else to do. But most of us, we're well past our prime. We're just physically unable to do anything but sit around. And that turns into boredom. It turns into loneliness because the dream that you're chasing over here, she wants to go out and do some things you're, you're unable to do. But thank y'all so much, you know, just for stopping by. I just wanted to talk about this. It has nothing to do with that video going around, I promise. I've got so much stuff on my head over here, man, that that's the last thing I want to talk about. That's a sad situation right there. That's nothing to talk about. That's a lot of content there. And people are going to take advantage of it. I don't blame them. If you're, if you're a blogger and, and you need content, that's a lot. But when you see grown, two grown-ass men fighting as if they're teenagers, probably... Because, you know, uh, of a misunderstanding, maybe some words were exchanged. It's not worth putting your life in jeopardy. There's much more to do over here than that. I mean, take up scuba diving, man. Go hiking. Go skydiving. They skydive over where I live in San Carlos City. And they've got those machines, you know, with the big uh, parachutes. And, you know, it's, it's like a... Flying machine is what I call it, you know. Do something like that, man. I mean, but get out of each other's face. Because you can't blame it on the people over here anymore. Me and other weak link, link. We're too sensitive over here, guys. You can no longer blame it on these countries over here. You can't blame it on the people, man. You got to look in the mirror. It's some pretty sad stuff going on over here, man. For the people who come over here uninformed, ill-prepared, 
And then they'll say, yeah, you couldn't handle it over there. Yeah, you can handle it over here if you go about it the right way. Just remember this, though. You're not 30 anymore. What you could do at 30, you can't do at 70. So if you're in America, if you're in Thailand, if you're in the Philippines, wherever you are, finding your heart to help somebody, you know, we're on our way back off of a vacation. We took the kids to Siki Hoy, to Dumaguete. We're here in Heidi's cabin. We're headed back to dreaded five-hour bus ride. But I've gotten used to it. Remember, I walked from St. Carlos City to Dumaguete. So five hours is nothing in a bus to me. I'm just kind of worried about the kids. Now the day goes by, I don't help somebody. We're going to spin the wheel tonight. We, we just spent it uh, Monday, but that's because we didn't spend it Friday last Friday. Just trying to help people the best way we can. Because if I don't know anything else, I know this one thing for sure. We help other people, we help ourselves. Take care. Stay safe. Stay out of trouble. I'll see you next time. And don't do anything stupid. Come over here with a plan, a well thought out plan. What you going to do with your time and your money and yourself? Get out of that delusion. Is this an oasis for thirsty men, desperate men, lonely men? Or is, this, or is this a place where they come for their dreams to die? The smart men come over here, take their dreams and go back. Even though we don't think they're smart.